guys, Crystal Thompson here for Studio Cadia. Today we are creating a beautiful and elegant card and we're going to be using the Birthday Balloon Duos. This is a gorgeous stencil and we're going to be doing some emboss resist. Then for our embellishment, we are using the Classic Metallic Mix and this is a mix of gold and silvers. Let me bring it up to the camera, see if I can, there we go. Look how pretty and iridescent those guys are. We're going to be using the gold from this mix. Then we're going to be using the Studio Cadia It's Your Birthday. And we're going to be using the Celebrating You on this wonderful day. And we are going to just place that on top. So let's get started. So I'm going to bring in my birthday duos. And I have my cardstock. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an emboss resist. And we're going to place our card where you think you want your balloon. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to come in with my purple tape or painter's tape, whichever you have. If you don't have either, you can use washi tape. So we're going to tear a strip and then again line up your card to what part of the uh, stencil you want it to show. And we're going to place it on the back, and this is going to prevent the stencil or the cardstock from moving. So we're going to do that to this side. We're going to flip this over. Now that that's ready to go, we are going to come in with our Simon Says Embossing Watermark Ink. You can use any watermark ink you'd like. Now we're going to strictly just stamp the whole thing, and it's going to stamp the exposed part of the stencil. This is going to be really, really pretty to uh, create this elegant card and really take your stencils a little bit further with usage. So you're going to get the most for your money out of these supplies. Okay, once you have everything and you can really check on the lights, um, you can lift it just a little bit to be sure that you've got every part of the stencil um, nice and covered with your ink. Okay, once that's done, we're going to remove the stencil and then we're going to come in and I have Simon Says Stamp Embossing Powder in Antique Gold and I'm going to cover this and heat set. Alright guys, so I have heat embossed and look how fun that is once we covered that with the gold. Super pretty and I can't wait to start ink blending on that. I also wanted to show you how I had stamped the sentiment and embossed it in the same gold. When you um, do some embossing and you emboss everything together, it just makes it much quicker. All right, so we're gonna begin our ink blending. So I have a scratch piece of paper here because I don't wanna get my surface dirty. And for this, I am using two blues. I am using a faded jeans and chip sapphire. And these are from Ranger. You can use uh, normal dye inks that are non-reactive. But for this purpose, I really wanted to be able to do a little bit of water flickering and get that cool uh, reaction. All right, so I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna be using the faded jeans. And we're gonna go in a circular motion and I really wanna use that chip set fire at the edge because it's a really dark blue. And don't worry about how the color is covering those balloons. We're gonna come in with our baby wipe and wipe it off so we have that emboss resist. So we are going to do just a little more blending to create the halo, that circular effect, that way the color's coming at you. And then we're gonna move on to the chip sapphire. And we're gonna use the same brush. I like to be, use the one brush per color family. It really saves the amount of brushes that you have and if you have the um, instead of having the ink pat foam stuff, the little circle ones, you can use these makeup brushes. You can purchase at your favorite favorite retailer. I will also be putting some links down below for you to be able to find all the Studio Cadia products for these cards. So I'm going around um, around the edge with that chip set fire, and I'm not blending too much because I want to be sure that I have everything nice and dark and then I'll blend into that faded jeans. So I'm going to finish this up. 
Okay, once we are done with our darkest color, then you can start doing the ink blending up into that faded jeans. All right. And I just felt like this was a really elegant card. I love creating happy birthday cards. However, sometimes I don't, I wanna make it um, something for a guy or something more elegant. So I have my little mini mister and I'm just gonna mist on top to create those beautiful splatters of water and it's gonna start reacting. While that reacts, I have my little um, baby wipe. You can use a paper towel if you like. And I'm just removing that excess distress oxide color from the balloons. And you could do this with white or clear or silver, whatever your color selection is. Just, I felt blue and, and gold fit really nice. So you can see my finger marks there. So it's gonna come off really easy. Okay, and just select different parts of your baby wipe to wipe it off, being careful not to wipe off the actual distress oxide from the card. So I have those all cleaned off. Look how pretty that turned out. I'm gonna remove this excess paper. Now, we are going to add our sentiment. And this is just um, a piece of blue cardstock. And then we are going to bring in our fusion, excuse me, our classic metallic mix. And we're only gonna be using the gold. I like to add my glue dots first and then add my sequins and then you can always come back and add more. I'm gonna alternate with two sizes, doing large and small, then coming over here and doing a really small one. Ah, it's not sticking. There we go. And then we're going to do a medium sized one. All right. And that does it. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a uh, stenciled embossed rosette. We're using uh, the stencils from Studio Cadia's newest release, along with the sentiments and a beautiful mix of the classic metallic mix. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe and thumbs up and stay tuned. There's a lot more inspiration and tutorials on the channel. Have an awesome day.